Thank you, Rob Liefeld, for liking our last Instagram post. Oh, yeah, that yeah. Was actually, that, we, we did all geek out about that. <laughs> all right, let's get into that. Yeah. So, very recently, Zack Snyder posted a picture on, um, I, I always forget what website that is. It's not Instagram, but it's something like it that's no, it's more, in, more oriented for, like, artists and stuff like that. Yeah, what was it again? I forget. I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> like, you're the one who took the screen cap, John. Uh, well, I actually saved that from somebody else who had posted it. I just added a filter to it when I posted it. But yeah, so Zack Snyder posted a thing on the internet and it said, uh, does the Snyder Cut, or what did it say? It said, oh yeah, it says, does it exist? Of course it does. And it's actually a picture of like the container <laughs> oh, for the film reel. And it says uh, JL Director's Cut and it has 214 minutes marked on it. So he is directly showing all these you know news outlets and stuff that Can't say it's not that? real no no how could he get sued you can't i i don't know it's just like so... it's not like he's signed a hush agreement M- or maybe anything, if but... he released it without warner brothers consent but that's not what he's doing he's just showing that you know it's there it's ready to go nobody can deny that it exists anymore it's right there guys right in front of you this is putting an end to all the doubt it's real so one of the Twitter pages... Hashtag release this Snyder Cut confirmed. Yeah, exactly. So, as if it wasn't already, but... So, one of the release the Snyder Cut Twitter pages that has a lot of followers um, offered a suggestion. It said, uh, we should turn this into a mini event. How about everyone, you know, who follows this page goes on Instagram and politely tells uh, Henry Cavill to go and support the movement, <laughs> you know, along with the rest of his castmates. And... He's not going to care. Now, I, you know, I get the, some of the concerns people were having about this, and I do agree a little bit that that might come off a little bad if, you know, people don't go about it the right way. It might seem like kind of like it's sending a mob after Obviously, him. Obviously, here's the thing. Like, a lot of people would just be, like, very hyper about it. Just, like, like go, like, demanding, go, like, smashing their keyboards and all yeah, that. Yeah, I get that. But at the same time, you know, everyone, I think except Flash and him, the uh, Flash actor Ezra Miller have actually supported it, and you would think that after having done all of the work on Man of Steel and Dawn of Justice and Justice League, the first and second time around, that he would be behind this. Like, I don't think he would just want to forget about it. He would want the best version of his work on it to come out. So I don't see why you wouldn't support it. As a man who likes it, who takes his job very seriously, that's how I see it. Yeah, yeah like I know he's doing The Witcher now and all that, and he's not really involved with the oh, DC he's doing thing. doing The Witcher, seriously? Yeah, it's coming out this month. Oh, thank God. I've been so hyped for that. Well, he, he has apparently said he wants to do more Superman roles. So uh, it's not like he's completely done with it. Yeah, I don't think he'll be, he's done with it for good yet. So, you know, if anything, he should he should be behind this, in my opinion. So anyway... I uh, went ahead and I took a screenshot of the Zack, or I saved the image of the screenshot of the Zack Snyder post, went on Instagram, yeah. on our podcast account, and uh, you know what? Let me open that up right now so I can read it back verbatim so that you know I didn't, you know, go about it in a weird way. So he's basically saying he's not, so he's not talking out of his ass, kids. That's what he's trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> so you can go follow, follow us on Instagram, hashtag follow us. <laughs> and I wrote. The world needs you at Henry Cavill, obviously echoing the uh, Batman line from Justice League. Okay, line. The world needs you, Clark. The world needs you at Henry Cavill to once again give us hope. We humbly ask you to join your former castmates, the fan base, and Zack Snyder in supporting hashtag release the Snyder Cut. That's it. That's all I said. And right now, including uh, us, it has 29 likes, and one of the people who liked that post, was the real Rob Liefeld, creator of Deadpool. Mm-hmm. Verified account, too. You, we got the we got the screenshot and everything, guys. Like, we're not lying. Yeah. I did uh, I did tag him. Like, I didn't at mention him, but I tagged his name in the yeah. hashtag. So, I don't know. Maybe that's how he found it. Or maybe he's just going around, like, reading released Snyder Cut hashtags on Instagram because he is posting a lot about it on Twitter. No, he's pretty active on social media, too. Wouldn't right. shock me. It's, that's pretty funny for a guy that made a Marvel thing. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Rob Liefeld. We're with you. You're with us. I thought she was with you. I thought she was with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, uh, guys, this actually does bring up a question about Batman. 
How do we re- feel about the Robert Pattinson <laughs> era? Comic? I have complete <laughs> apathy towards it. We'll we'll see if he's. Oh my like, god! No, seriously, uh, like the fact yeah. that I saw that when that was announced, I was just like, "Oh lord, this is gonna be awful." <laughs> I don't want more Batman. It's it's enough. I don't stop either. rebooting I'm it. Sorry, I- I'm done with Batman. I would really love a Bane movie more at this rate, like a literal Bane movie. The only thing I would accept is Batman Beyond. Give us old Michael Keaton and Terry McGinnis. Oh my god, that would be great. I want Terry McGinnis. I want Terry McGinnis. Yes, hashtag yes. Batman Beyond. Hashtag Batman Beyond.